Today at Sporting Park with Gabe Gabor, and he's going to tell us about the MLS Cup. That's right. Right here we got the MLS Cup trophy. We're doing an exclusive photo shoot for the Kansas City Star. This is known as one of the most beautiful trophies in all of sports. It's designed by Tiffany and Co. Uh, back in 2008 was the first year we actually awarded this trophy. And to a player that's fighting for this, it's priceless. But say you went to Tiffany's and you wanted to buy something like this, it would run you about $100,000. Uh, this trophy is very well pampered. It travels from city to city with Brinks. It actually has its own vehicle when it's in town, a Volkswagen, a beautiful uh, Volkswagen van. And it has its own handler. It has its own uh, PR person. And it's treated as the star that it should be, being that it means so much to those folks who are fighting for it in the soccer world here in North America. So, uh, and tell us about the handling of the trophy. You mentioned, Gabe, that Really, people, you and I, or me, mostly, I'm not allowed to come up and touch the trophy. Who can touch the trophy with their bare hands? Well, you know, it's uh, it's sterling silver, and the protocol of the trophy is that in order to touch it, you have to win it. So, mostly, the guys that raise a trophy after a championship, they're the ones where the legacies are the ones that actually get to touch the trophy. Otherwise, everyone, including myself, uh, if you do touch it, we use the gloves. And you are on the road for at least 100 days a year with the trophy, right? Well, I'm actually on the road 100 days a year doing general MLS uh, work. But with the trophy, three to four weeks touring different places around the country. This year, this will be our fourth city. Do you have an interesting story you can share with the being out and about with the trophy? You know, there's a lot of interesting stories. Uh, I guess the one that most people ask me is what happens when somebody tries to touch it. We do a lot of public appearances and we do have a, a, uh, a handler, a security personnel that stands next to it when we do public events. And it's happened in the past that maybe a, a couple of folks got uh, very excited, try to touch it, and we nicely tell them not to. Uh, and if some folks insist, then the trophy handler has to spring into action, but always in a very polite and professional way. Well, Gabe, we sure appreciate your time. We're glad to have the trophy here in town and uh, hope you can stay warm while you're with us in Kansas City. It's our pleasure. It's good to be here.